Hey guys, Matt Diederich here. Thanks for joining me on another Ask for Photography tutorial. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe because I'm gonna keep producing some pretty awesome Ask for Photography content, hopefully to help you learn and improve your own skills. So in today's video, what I would like to talk about is the upcoming December 21st, yes indeed, already next Monday, conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. So some fun facts about this conjunction. Well, Jupiter and Saturn have not been this close in the night sky in approximately 800 years. So just a little bit before my time and likely your time as well. But this is an awesome opportunity for us to photograph a conjunction that we have not seen in nearly a thousand years. So it's absolutely insane. It's been that many years since Jupiter and Saturn have been that close in apparent distance from each other in the night sky. But in this video, what I would like to do is teach you five tips on how to photograph and shoot this conjunction. So tip number one, think about the type of shot you want to create. Are you looking to create a wide field shot of the conjunction, say with a DSLR and a wide angle lens? Or are you looking to create a more magnified view which in that scenario, you wanna use a telescope or some kind of telephoto lens. So number one, figure out the type of shot that you wanna create, either wide field or try zooming in on the beautiful conjunction. Tip number two, feel free to use the planetarium software called Stellarium. This software comes with an awesome field of view calculator that allows you to, whether it is with a 24 millimeter lens in a DSLR sensor or a smaller sensor in a telescope, allows you to see what your view will be through those systems. So it helps you plan your shoot. So now that I have opened up Stellarium, I changed my location to Pittsburgh and I turned the date to the night of the conjunction, the 21st, and I changed the time to about 7.50 in the evening. So you can see even at 7.50 in the evening, Jupiter and Saturn are gonna be very low as it is, only 13 degrees altitude above the horizon. So as the night progresses, you can see even just about a half hour later, you have that distance down under 10 degrees at nine degrees above the horizon. So cool thing here with this field of view calculator in Stellarium, I can click that after setting up a DSLR and a telescope, say this Takahashi. This is the field of view that I'm going to see with that camera and sensor. So it's a wide field system. And if I would change to a smaller camera sensor here, I can get a little bit more magnification out of it. So you have options to play with when you're using this field of view calculator and you import your own settings. So you can calculate what it's gonna look like at your location with your given equipment. Tip number three. For me in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, I need to find a location that is relatively high up on a hill with a good vantage point of the horizon because I utilized tip number two to determine that the conjunction is gonna be happening at about 15 to 10 degrees above the horizon, I need to make sure that I'm up high on a hilltop with a great clear view of the horizon to photograph the event. So you might need to be doing the same thing depending on your latitude. Tip number four, make sure that you arrive early to your destination where you're planning to shoot and look towards the west. Towards the west is where the sun is gonna be setting and Jupiter and Saturn will come into view shortly after sunset. Last but not least, tip number five guys, is have fun. I guess that tip should always be number one in astrophotography. Get out there and have fun and soak in the experience of being out in nature and seeing a conjunction that we haven't experienced to this scale in about 800 years. So to me, that's one of the coolest aspects about this conjunction to wrap up 2020. Okay, so we're loaded up with all kind of cool tips. Let's summarize them again for photographing the conjunction. Number one, I'm gonna determine the type of shot I want, whether it be wide field or magnified with a telescope. Number two, I'm gonna use Stellarium for determining what type of system I should shoot with because different sensors and telescope combinations are gonna magnify Jupiter and Saturn differently. I know here in Pittsburgh, number three, I need to get to a hilltop. I need to get a good view down to the horizon. Number four, I'm gonna face the west. That is where the sun is gonna be setting. So with that view to the west, Jupiter and Saturn will come into play 
And lastly, last but not least, I'm gonna have fun out there, guys, with step number five, because it's astrophotography, you're outdoors, you're experiencing a beautiful conjunction that we have never seen in our entire lives this close, and it hasn't happened in about 800 years. So get out there, have fun, and I hope you guys have clear skies. As always, reach out if you have comments or need any more tips, guys. But clear skies and good luck.